creek. What is this? Water? I feel like Thor chugging oceans. No effect to my head or step. <laughs> you heard the man. Give him something stronger. <laughs> this will work faster than any tonic. Good. Give me visions of all creatures that roam these hills. And the sore head tomorrow to pay for it. Wow, that tastes awful. It feels good, though. Hey, boss, speak true. My feelings be damned. I have been an ass. Do not deny it. And I, for that, I am sorry. A colossal horse's ass. Yes. Soft words from a heartless heathen. Only fiercer than fire among ill friends. I can be very as nice as a spring gale. Hear that? You are wrong for the Elderman's seat. Maybe you are correct. I wanted to be a cardinal. But the men who raised me said I'd serve God better as an Elderman. You are your own man, not theirs. The only ones you should be serving are your people. Tefter, with Gunnar and Bridget's marriage, our clans will unite. But we could join by oath as well. Oh, yes. My first ally as Elderman. I accept. We shall make an oath. How do we start? Yeah. The greatest, greatest oath. And the greatest union. To the oath. The treaty. The greatest. <laughs> People are sleeping. More ale to seal our friendship? <laughs> this way, this way. Look out for the black sow. Sow? Like pig? Flaming pig. Chases you home at night. <clears throat> silly words to scare silly children. <sighs> You see magic as the stuff of children's dreams. Perhaps... I judge too much. Truths I have... Gaze the stars across the sky in great whirls of color and light. Whoosh! Here we are. Right inside here. Tefter! 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 Where are you? Hell's breath. What happened last night? Uh, and the effects of that draft still. Tefter, are you here? Tefter's bodyguard, killed by knife. This part has been broken, and it's covered in blood. A weapon, maybe. Blood. Could be Tefter's, if he was the heavy thing being dragged. This guard's throat's been cut! Open up! Tefter! What's happened here? Open this door! Come out of there! Muddy footprints. 
Someone was hiding back here. Willem's pouch. I wonder if it still has a little something stronger. But why is it here? Better hold on to it. So, what does this lead to? The murderers hid here, lying in wait while we approached outside. They jumped from the shadows to kill his bodyguards. And to disable Tefra. Then they dragged him away. That accounts for everything. Except Gwilym's pouch of herbs. There he is! What is the meaning of this? Blood soaking our soil, and your weapon coated in the same! Kunan, please. More has happened here than you can see. Give me a right to parley my innocence. I should have heeded Tevdor's misgivings about heathen party guests, and now he has paid with his life. With Tevdor gone, Glowichester will be without an elderman. Eye for an eye, your Raven clan will lose their chieftain. Get the murderer! Remember. Indeed. It's a surprise to see you. Is everything quite all right? No, it's not. I awoke in Tefter's wrecked home. Blood, but no body. Kunan's men are after me for the lad's murder. Uh-oh. Did you stab him? Mother, can I see? Blood, but no body. We must see what has happened to him. Do you recognize the contents of this pouch? A very unusual blend. There is a druid who uses this mix to aid sleep. A monk called Gwillem poured some of it into my drink last night. The effects were intense. Search the houses! Can't have gotten far! They're coming for you. If they know I've aided you, it'll be my head next. Can you... I've seen nothing and no one. Mother! If the stranger wants more of the herbs, they can talk to the druid Halewyn. Yes. Halewyn's cabin is on a lake near where the Cherwell and Great Oust rivers meet. But he is a strange fish. Rarely does he speak to mortals, preferring the company of spirits. Now, I've business at Rollandrich. Find me there later. Just as Modern said, maybe I should disguise myself. Oh, spirit! You have finally come! Days ago, a passing cloud foretold your arrival with droplets of sun-scented rain! But what form of being are you beneath this guise of horse and bone? From the realm of the Fae? I know you cannot say. I, I pray begin. Oh, but the men of straw must announce you with sparks. Ignite the sky to begin anew, here at the death of the season. Until then, I await you, giving thanks in the glen. joins the throng. There'll 
be cacophony. One more. One more. Oh, wind. Prove it. You must know the depths of the world's mysteries before I will help you. Tell me the proper use of charms. Very well. Ask your riddles. Which is the charm that weds souls? The charm of the double spoon. Yes. Such that a wedded pair can sup broth together. Man and woman are made of earth, of water, and wind. Which charm clods the earth, dries the water, and stills the wind? Threefold death stops life's wind, returns a body to earth, and renders water into poison. Threefold death is the charm. Which charm protects from evil spirits? The symbol of the Celtic nut wards off harm. A secure knot in spirit. <laughs> you are a spirit of light. Mabon be praised. Would you like some bread and cream? No, just the answer to your question. This herb pouch made its way to Gloucester in the hands of a strange man. Do you know it? Aye. A mix to help him sleep. I filled this very pouch. And over a dandelion wine, he spoke fondly of his home, Kuth Lodrin. Kuth Lodrin? <clears throat> Very well. I thank you, Halwyn. But this spirit has others to visit this harvest moon. Go with the wind and leaves, good friend of the hills. How far has the search for me stretched? Far enough to say it's best you stick to the countryside and wear that disguise. But Tefter's body has not been found as yet. That night was full of drink and merriment. I do not remember much, but I had no quarrel with Tefter. A sorry tale. Did you learn anything from Halewin? He gave some herbs to a man from Kuth Lodrin, name of Gwilim. He was drinking with Tefter and myself. Kuth Lodrin is the Welsh name for the thieves Warren. It's atop a hill west of here. I can lead you. I owe you a great deal for all your aid. You do not have to trust me. Tefter's fate is to my interest as well. This is a troubling development that I hope to get to the bottom of. Let's make haste then. I must find Gwilim and regain my honor. <laughs> this forest and all of Gloucestershire feels untamed. I feel as if I've ridden my horse through a door to another world. Aye, there is old magic here. Old magic that would be snuffed out by Tevder and his church. Tevder did speak of reformation. Do you think that's why he was targeted? There are many who would claw their way to the top. Tevda's disappearance could be the work of any. But you are a witch, open to wisdom from the guards. Have you seen anything? I see. No, we're not a humble sort. Blunt tongues and sharp axes. Ludron, the thieves Warren. This is where I leave you. You'll find somewhere safe. There's a shrine nearby. If you've need of me, then meet me there. Gods old and new go with you. Thank you, Baron. That is Tefter's voice. So he lives. That must be where Gwilym is hiding.
Oh, shit. Oh, shit is right. Eivor, you're alive. Have mercy. I were under orders. Elderman Kunin, he gave us coin to dispose of Tepter. Then he should demand it back. Shit sales haunt you are. Cannot kill a single man. You made a poor choice in scapegoat, Gwilym. And we thought that if we kept the lad alive, we could squeeze Kunan for more coin to keep it secret. Kunan is meeting his end in the Wicker Man at the end of the Samhain celebrations. Look, we wasn't gonna kill the lad. We've come to lie, having him around. Tell him, tell him we've taken care of you. Kunan did this? Why? I've done nothing. To... Oh, gods, is he dead? Wake up, wake up. Tell the Dean I've hand fed you like a baby sparrow. Ah, move, fool. Ah. Look, Eivor, we're mates, right? Uh, had drinks? Speak again and I'll take your tongue. Tafter will need to see a healer. This lord has been smearing dung on his face. But I've been held for ransom by worse men. Thank you for your aid, then. And try not to get held for ransom a third time after you flee. Thank you, stranger. You've a good heart. Yeah. Thank you. When I awoke in this demon lair, I feared the worst. Save your strength, Tefter. It's a long ride. Kunon. He ordered my death. I don't understand. He's been like a father to me. I will ask help him myself. Lord I was Eulish when he spoke of the pagans be being just as we. Living in kindness under the laws of many gods. One face, many faces. It matters not. We are all blessed to be alive in his glory. The strape has changed you, Tefter. Changed me. Changed the dressings. <laughs> He's hot to the touch, and his mind fades in and out, but he lives. Perhaps a sickness of the blood. Shame, shame. He was captured by the men there? They claim to have been hired by Kunan. Kunan did this? I know not why, only that he gave them coin to dispose of Tefter. You can see how well they saw to that. They were alike once, the boy and Kunan. God-fearing Christians arguing the nature of life with me. But he softened. Men do great evil to cling on to power and save their skin. Perhaps he means to put Tevda to flame in his place. Does not the right demand the leader? If he made the lad's body elderman, then it would still be right to... I am a very good healer. But if the gods want him to join them, I cannot stop their will. Eivor, what will you do with Kunan? I will reveal his sins. Let his people decide if he deserves an honorable death. The man tarnished your name and you would let him live? Shame for shame. Not even his guard will welcome him when I'm done. You are resolute then. Then may you ride as Rhiannon. Thank you, Modern. And please, take care of Tefter. I must get to Kunan before the festival's end. Eivor, finally to the toilet. Bridget, it is good to see you. Eivor, what has become of Tevder? Did you faint your scarf? Uh, thank you. It's you again, the Sowen Butcher. The Sowen Butcher. Never mind. Gwyneth, I'm looking for Kunan. Have you seen him? He's busy with the festival and shooed me away to Bridget. Would you like to see some magic I've been practicing? Can you show me to Kunan if I say yes? Just one trick and then I can show you around. Um, okay. So reach into this pouch. The number of stones you're holding is three. 
Wonderful magic, Gwen. But now I really need to find Kunan. Come on, let's go find him. I would know more about you, Gwen. You are certainly an odd little bird. Mother says there'll be no one like me in the whole of creation. From the dawn of dust to the end of sorrows. Your mother trusts you. Let you run about on your own. She spends the holiday blessing hermits in old rocks. What fun is that? And your father, Gwynedd? Where is he? Well, it's not to be spoken of. But I was born from the union of my mother with the Horned King of the Forest, Genunos. You are cl But it's not like I'm going to get to see her much anymore once she leaves with you and Gunnar. How do you spend your days, Gwynedd? Collecting dead things for Mama's spells. I have quite a collection. Birds, mice, um, beetles, and I dance, and I can talk to cats. I should find Kunan. There are the church ladies. They don't like the festival, but Mama says they come anyway to cluck cluck like hens. Do you want to see another trick? I can pull an acorn from your ear. I need to find Kunan. It's important. You're lost, butcher. It's Eivor. There you are, Snake Tongue. Eivor! <laughs> have you... have you been enjoying the festivities? We're done with this shadow play. Tefter's safe, and I know of your plan to sacrifice him in your stead. You think I mean to escape the flames? I go to the Wicker Man gladly, but I will not leave Glowerchester in... ...in an angry church ready with holy fire. They won't be without a leader. Modron will sit upon the Horn's throne. Are you telling me that mother and lied? Ha! <laughs> We've turned you in circles like a dog, haven't we? Moldrin was the architect of Tevder's murder, Eivor. All to take control of Gloucestershire for herself. It would be a hard grasp to hold, surrounded by Christians on all sides. There was no other way. She had a vision. Tevder framed by flames and burning. Everything we created together. Everything. You and Mother, then Gwyneth? A man must get his house in order before his death. Feather his nest for his children. Your grand scheme has collapsed into sand at every step, Kunan. I know. I never should have trusted Gwilym and his merry band of fuckwits to kill one man. You and the witch? This was the plan, to make me dance your merry tune. So you could build a legacy for your daughter. I always desired Modron. So when she asked me to take the part in a fertility ritual, of course I agreed. Our union conceived not only Gwenev, but a united Glowichestershire. One that Tevder would stamp out. This is where you failed, Kunan. Tevder is a changed man. He straddles the same line as you. Tevder? The boy... Not just I. The kindness of bandits and strange Britons. He embraces Christ and Chernanos alike. Shit. Prophecy is a strange web, is it not? Tevder's reformation just needed a kidnapping and a dedicated Dane. Eivor, Modron will have taken Tevder to her forest temple. If you make haste, you might be able to stay her blade. I have much to attend to here. Otherwise, I'd lead you myself. Go now. <laughs> Unless you plan on killing me first. You should not have fucked with me, Kunan. <laughs> hey, what? Don't keep me that way. The chanting. It's faint. But I recognize Mordron's voice.
with the gods on this most holiest of times, and we're stuck guarding the door. I'd rather be out here, in case the ritual goes sour and we end up as a meal for the gods. Bandits strike and flee like lightning. This scene reminds me of that vividly. in blood, death and birth. Turn this man from beast to earth. Madron, stay your blade. Die at my hand. I should have known Kunon wouldn't have it in him to quarter you for the dogs. It's a cold bitch who throws her lover to the wolves for her old rhymes. You understand so little. No matter. Let me enlighten you with the fury of the gods!
it then. Leave Gloucestershire in the hands of that Christian, and for what? Your name and some trade routes? Do you doubt the power of your guards to sway the mind of a man? Tefter is no longer the seller you believe him to be. A man will lie to save his skin. When you are gone, he'll gut me and burn my people. The gods showed me this. Kunan spoke of your vision. The Nordnir spin their fatal threats. But without your plan, his heart would remain unchanged. Then I have no regrets. But I had a vision of you as well. One of a path that twists like the river owls. The seer's spinnings twist limb and word alike. Prophecy is a river, and we are powerless to fight its clutches. She was fighting to protect her people. But she ground your name to dust. Sullied the honor of herself and her people. I cut my own path. in his mercy. What sorcery happened here? The High Priestess Modron tried to kill you. Why? In God's name, I've done nothing to her. She feared the Church would use you as God's hammer. So she convinced Kunan to have you killed. Kunan and Modron conspired to bring about your end. Now, both lie dead by my hand. Such a waste of life. The devil whispers into the ear of man. But we must ignore his voice. Modern had a vision of you wiping out the pagans. And Gwyneth is Kunan's bastard. So he simply did it to protect his kin. Love for one's child is a virtue. But wrath is a sin. How can one entangle with the other? We all lose our heads when our legacy is threatened. Be that name, kingdom, or child. Now, what of the witchling? I'll see that she's cared for. She has no guilt in this. I will not join your Church of Christ! You won't have to. The burning of the Harvest King. It is a momentous occasion for many here. Like the Christ, he sacrifices himself for his people. So that they may prosper. But this is an empty platter for your gods. Hungry bellies are known to retaliate. None can take Kunon's place. And to put his corpse in the pyre would be an insult. Christ turns his eyes from this ritual. But you condone it. I am to be Tevda of a united land. I can no longer turn my eye from anything. Tradition dictates the burning be overseen by the High Priestess. Modron is missed here. My hand has hindered this blow twice, then. Then I will oversee, as is my right, my blood. I took Modron from you. You have every right to feud with my line. One you old enough to hold a sword. Mother saw your fate. The future will punish you greater than I ever could. Punishment or not, you will go into the future as Gloucestershire's ally. And someone I will never forget. Let the flame be set. May the crop be abundant. Abel, the honor is yours. Praise the Harvest King!
Elmit Hitchen says to Haben. Nune Habe from Chapman on Aftune. Sweet Erank. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news. Randvi, what is this? Another dispute, I'm afraid, with Holger stirring the pot once again. Will you set in judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Once more. Gudrun, Holger, come forward. You will state your cases and I will hear you out and be as swift in my judgment as I am able. Gudrun, you may speak. I have been robbed, Abel. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sailcloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse, defaced. With scrolls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You are well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Gudrun, what did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him. Demanding silver, for sale with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refused. That is right. Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago, I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks, and salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see, as a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state, and so obscured from view. I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property, when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <sighs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. I see. So you feel Gudrun disposed of something and now unreasonably seeks its return. Exactly. Yes. Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago, I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks and salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see, as a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state and so obscured from view, I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to dis... <sighs> a bitch. Yet now it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have increased its value. You ought to thank me. Oh, I will thank you with the back of my... Quiet. Let me speak. After careful thought, it is clear that... What is this? What are you doing? Holger and Gudrun are at odds. I hope to find a resolution. That duty is mine alone, Eivor. You know this. Stand aside. You were not here, brother. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear scout? My Jarl, as I was saying, Stop! I Stop! Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I have known you, Holger, you have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holger the liar, you sink lower. You become Holger the thief, robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. Secret, you all know that that is not the... This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of 30 sailcloths. 30 times? Surely your chest? That would ruin me, Sigurd! Or be exiled. Great, Jarl, if I may. I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is... Thirty times! In silver! That is my judgment. Eivor, please! 
Does this not seem unfair? Sigurd, the punishment must fit the crime. Your judgment is cruel and unfair. Cruel and unfair? Oh, no. No, you have it backwards. I am the definition of what is fair and what is not. I am your Jarl, the source of all right and wrong, the lord of justice in this place. Without rank, without order, without a chain of command, life cannot endure! Chaos will reign! Do you understand? As my brother and my Jarl, I back you, Sigurd. But in the face of injustice, I cannot help but speak. <laughs> Have you never in your life known when to hold your tongue, Eivor? Nor defer to those wiser than yourself? My judgment stands. Thirty times the sailcloth's value. That is final. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again, do not fail to rouse me. Though I understand, you were well within your rights. I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when Sigurd would not, in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Is that a side you've seen? Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried, afraid. But nothing like this. Never, ever like this. Let us do our best for him as we take care of our own. We are his best hope for healing. If it is not too late. In the meantime, we press on. I can hardly begin to describe what happened in Gloucestershire. I think you will learn soon enough. But we are allied with them. Yes. For all our pains. I'm grateful to see Basim returned. There's so much more I wish to learn from him. Jarvik is now free of the Order's influence. Brilliant as ever, my friend. Thank you for all you have done. Ah, here is something for you. An odd letter arrived a few days ago, signed by one calling himself... A poor fellow soldier of Christ. That's right. Someone you know. Not by sight. But this soldier has intimate knowledge of the Order. He's the reason I've found them so easily in the cities. The letter says you must travel to Winchester, visit God's house and look for a man in white. Then recite this passage. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. All right. I will speak with Randvi, get a fuller picture of all this. <laughs> 